so let's learn about different other fields in MSH segment for understanding purpose I am just removing this the rest of the segment to make sure we are only dealing with the MSH and I'll zoom it to look it clear so you shouldn't think that if CAD is starting from here it's a new segment you should always remember the segment names MSH, PID, EV and multiple segments so this highlight this color will represent the start of the segment okay I just zoomed it for the understanding purpose so I'll click on here you can see it is nothing but sending application and it has nothing but epic CADT it is nothing but the sending facility so what is application and facility what are the both difference between that for example this organization or facility for example I name it as uh, uh, WHO okay World Health Organization it's an organization is using this particular application epic for the healthcare data processing so that's how it works so MSH 3 is a sending application epic is a sending application which is used by uh, WHO and over here you can see MSH 5 is a receiving application and it is used by the facility SMS ADT for example I'll uh, take some uh, random exam uh, FBA okay I, I use this FBA and some random application yeah we can call it a SMS application so this World Health Organization is sending the data to FBI by using the EPIC application and FBI is using the SMS application to receive it. So that simple it is. So it always start with application, sending application, sending facility and it always ends with receiving application and receiving facility. So with these four fields generally by watching the MSA segment you can directly understand who oh, it is going from uh, WHO to FBI or like some organization to some other organization and even you can deal with the applications with the name of it so it is very very important when you are actually uh, troubleshooting SMS it's always good to look rather than looking all other details I generally just look over here okay the applications are good they are uh, uh, reaching the respected uh, particular inbounds and outbounds and uh, we can track the rest of the message so it always starts from here okay and if you don't have any this characters in your actual server message and it it will get corrupted and you don't even know, need to look the rest of the message you can say hey uh, this is a corrupted message and uh, this is not a proper actual server message so 99.9999 percentage this will be always right and we should uh, tweak up with the rest of the things so yep we today we learned about sending application facility and the other things we'll discuss more about the rest of the fields in the next session. Thank you.